Um, many of you probably know that we're in East London. We're a relatively large um, a trust we've got for uh, hospitals. We've got the highest levels of deprivation. We've got significant diversity and we've got a population that's very reliant on healthcare. So Bart's Health, I think, is a really good case study of it's a large organisation with probably every challenge you could imagine. We have traditionally had poor staff surveys and actually poor patient surveys. Um, and low friends, friends and family tests. That's kind of our starting point, really. But it was important to me and the organisation that we actually had a very clear framework for patient engagement and improving patient experience. So part, part of that was mobilising, I want great care. But what I would say is that sat within an overall strategic approach, which actually puts the patient experience very much at the heart of governance decision making and in a sense is a much more now developing into a much more systematic approach within the organisation. Chief execs and boards and corporate directors really have to take a very um, proactive leadership role in, in driving this. Um, uh, I now meet uh, regularly with our health watch organisations, I attend patient panel meetings, you know, so actually what you're doing in part is role modelling, what does this look like for the whole organisation. If you can recall, I said we were really struggling on friends and family and getting patient feedback, and yes, we had the annual surveys, but what I think I want Great Care has done is really given us some very, very robust uh, real-time patient uh, feedback, very much in the, uh, in, in the uh, early stage of mobilisation, but you can see the number of reviews collected already. Um, and what I think is really powerful is the free text comments. Um, so you get the kind of scores on the doors, if you like. Um, but actually, what people, what patients write, and with their own experience, and is 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 very, very, very powerful. Um, and um, actually, if you think about the potential this has within an organisation, any organisation, it's um, significant. Um, so you'll see here, just as an example, in maternity, we've already you know, March to, where are we now, June, uh, we've already had a very significant uh, increase um, in response rates and actually that's across the board in the organisation. And um, you can see also that we've started to roll out the um, you said we did, because that's really, really important So uh, in clinical areas, in ward areas. Um, so it's not just the co collecting of the information, but actually it's so what have we distilled from it and how have we responded to that in terms of action. So this is a summation of 190 clinical areas against the key domain. So a real richness and detail in terms of patient feedback. So you can really look at your real stars and celebrate and acknowledge, because we don't do that often enough, do we? And, um, but also we can really pick up you know what I would call the hot spots you know and clearly as we go through this and we collect this data more on, on a more time on a time series obviously we can start to look at areas where we might have concerns because if patients are saying you know they're expressing concerns about services that's probably telling us more the important thing here is that in a sense we're trying to in a sense engender a culture of shared leadership so it's not just me looking at it or my CNO it's the 190 Lead clinical leaders of those areas that are starting to really look at their patient information. But what I just wanted to do is just flip it to in terms of the staff engagement piece um, for a minute. Um, so through listening into action we've started a, a process of what we call staff pulse checks and again this is again starting to get real time uh, information on what, what patient um, staff think about working in the organisation. Um, so we did a pulse check in September, about the same time as we did our last staff survey, and then we repeated it in May. So we repeated it six months later, um, and that was six months after we'd mobilised a very um, systematic, at scale approach to staff engagement across the whole organisation. We have results again down to the 190, 190 clinical areas um, by our four hospital sites. So there's lots of ways you can cut the data to really get to drill into into the issues. Um, so in a sense I think this starts to give us a proof of concept really that actually within six months these are the kinds of results that we're getting and you can see that actually um, what staff are saying about recommending the organisation to friends and family quality of services is really really 
um, critical. You know, we are all in this together as an organisation, but an, a learning organisation. And I think certainly learning from Neil talking to all of us about patient voice, which is so instrumental in my view to the whole culture change within the organisation.